What's good everyone? It's MJ with 23 Dan back with another video. Today's video is going to be about the Air Jordan 1 Retro in the Shattered Backboard 2.0. Now a lot of people are calling this the Reverse, the 2.0, the Away, which I'm not entirely sure why it's dubbed the Away because it's a white base shoe, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Label on the box reads, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in Sale Black and Starfish. Style number is 555088, color code 113, retail 160. So this was pretty much the same price as the 2015, last year's shoe, the 1.0. And in this video today, I'm also gonna show you a comparison between the two. So, nicknames. The Away, the Reverse, the 2.0. On the sneakers app, Nike decided to go with the Away colorway. Now, in the summer of 1985, Michael Jordan, of course, we all know the story. Shattered the backboard in a Nike exhibition game in which he was wearing the Chicago One. There's actually been images of the shoe with actual shards of glass still into the shoe. So Mike had the opportunity to play on both teams, but it looks like he stuck to playing with Triste. Triste is located in Italy, and the opposing team that they played was Juve Caserta. Juve Caserta's team colors were white, blue, and I believe a little bit of red, and they were considered the away team. The home team was Triste Italy, and that color matched more towards the 1.0 in the orange and the black. So I'm not sure if it's pretty common in international ball, much like how in the United States, the home team wears away-like jerseys, or it could just be Nike wanted to pay tribute to Juve Caserta by having an away version in a white base shoe or technically a cream color shoe. While I do think that Jordan Brand is getting better with their storytelling, I believe that more work needs to be done. Actually, if you guys follow me on Instagram, we're starting a new group called the OG Support Group, and you can find that group by visiting Instagram at OG support group or even the hashtag OG support group and basically it's just a few members that are really dedicated to the culture of sneaker storytelling sneaker culture and bringing it back to the non BS that's out there right now if you guys like to hear stories true collector thoughts and basically anything about the history and culture of sneakers I invite you guys to go ahead and add the user group and use the hashtag OG support group the goal really is to hear what you guys have to say about how sneaker culture used to be rather than all the hype beasting that's been going on. So one other thing I wanted to add about the OG support group is that we don't have a logo right now so if there's anybody out there that has any graphic art skills and wants to create us a logo, we'll bring it back to the team and we'll decide what we want to go with. But if you're an aspiring artist that wants to get your name out there, you guys want to use me, drop me an email, let me know what you guys have as far as logos are concerned, and we'll see if we can shout you out in the next video. Alright, so here it is, the Shattered Backboard 1 2.0. So Jordan Brand decided to bring this back. Uh, like I said last year in 2015 they released the Shattered Backboard 1.0 and the difference between that is not very major but there are significant points that they decided to rework with the shoe. So basically with the shoe they decided to go with a leather upper and they decided to keep the back panels the same as far as leather material and everything. This is going to be different but the colors are going to be the same going towards the heel and then the medial going towards the toe they decided in the 1.0 that they were going to go black based along these panels here go black tongue and invert the colors here on the tag they still kept it with the shattered backboard print on the inside but there is a difference and I'll go ahead and do a comparison for you guys right now so here is the original release of 2015 the shattered backboard 1.0 so you can see that the black leather here fits all throughout from the top of the shoe coming down this panel all the way down to the toe whereas you don't see that here on the 2.0 now they kept the leather the same at the toes but they also inverted the colors the 1.0 in the orange the 2.0 in the cream colored base or the sail and I'll go ahead and just give you guys a close-up of that and the leather texture and the quality is about the same as far as the panels on the medial and lateral sides they kept that nice texture with the leather so you'll see that here with the 1.0 and the 2.0. So that is about the same. Now as far as the back panels are concerned, 
Now they used a different print or a different type of material here at the heel of the shoe. So this is going to feel a lot more like a broken in leather basketball as I had reported back on my original review last year. And then with the 2.0 they decided to go with a regular Jordan 1 leather quality where it's not that raw feeling, it doesn't have that texture, it's a smooth base leather but still pretty good but not as great as the 1.0. Now staying with the heel of the shoe you are going to notice that there's a big curve right here at the top. It doesn't have that straight back. It doesn't have a slightly slanted back. It's pretty extreme. So when you compare the 1.0 to the 2.0, you're gonna see that difference there. So you see that the 2.0 is a little bit more true to the OG in that straight back. They have a slight slant at it. The original has a very straight back. So with the 2015, they have that extreme slant right there at the Achilles. The 1.0 has a darker orange, while the 2.0 has that brighter orange. And that's also apparent here on the bottom. While it does still look the same, I will say that the 2.0 has a slightly darker hue to the 1.0. So this is the 2.0, this is the 1.0. Everything else on the bottom looks the same. So getting to the tongues here, you will see that the 2.0 has that sail to white colored tongue. And it's not as heavily padded as it is with the 1.0. It's got a really nice feel to it. The Nike tag at the top, you have the Nike Air. Tag is in white, Nike Air in orange. No registered trademarks. The 2.0 has the tag in orange with Nike Air in white with the registered trademarks. So with the lace bags, lace bags are the same, but the shoelaces are not. On the 1.0, you have white laces, and on the 2.0, you have the cream colored laces or the sail laces. So side by side, you can see the color difference. And then coming up into the insole, something that I actually noticed very, very closely is that the graphic on the inside, and I'll go ahead and zoom this in so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Hopefully the light's picking this up, but right here you have the 1.0 and here you have the 2.0. Now you'll notice that the graphic on the inside of the 1.0 actually has a texture to it where the rim and the shattered glass and all that pops out. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. Whereas on the 2.0 you don't see that pop it looks just like it's printed on the 1.0 looks like it's got that graphic texture on it padding on the inside still feels about the same inside tag for the 1.0 inside tag for the 2.0 So if you were to ask me what shoe I prefer as far as quality, aesthetics and all that, I actually prefer the 1.0. Now I do wish that it had the straight back of the OG high in the 2016, but this isn't bad, this is okay. So my choice would be the 1.0. So I spoke to a Jordan brand rep and I wanted to ask them why they decided to bring back the Shattered Backboard 1 when we already had the release last year. And what I was told is that with the release of the Air Jordan 31, they're really pairing it up with different Jordan 1s. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed that. So with the Band Jordan 31, we had the Band Jordan 1. There were even glimpses of the fine print Air Jordan 31 and a black and white Air Jordan 1. And now we have the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 31 and the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1 for 2016. With the direction that it's going, it kind of makes me believe that they're going to be doing the Air Jordan 32 and pairing it up with the Jordan 2. How would you guys feel with an Air Jordan 2 Wings box? Wouldn't that be dope? Anyways, let me know your comments, your thoughts, your concerns. If you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel. Hit me with a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.